Welcome back to Duke Copy TV. I'm Elaine Stenson. I'm joined in the studio now by Richard Watts, who's founder of HR Maritime. He's here with me now to discuss the importance of technical knowledge and networking. You're very welcome, Richard. Thank you. In a few words, Richard, what do you mean by technical knowledge? Well, the world of commodity trading and shipping is simply vast. First of all, we have a huge number of commodities. We also have a, no a large number of geographical regions and many different languages being used. But even if you look at just one commodity in particular, the areas that you have to have a good knowledge of include the trading itself, the operations, the shipping, the finance, the insurance, the legal. And so it's very, very important to have a good knowledge of all of those different areas. And more and more, a, a word that's written wrong or a phrase that's incorrectly uh, phrased can result in a multi-million dollar dispute. And so it's very, very important to know exactly what you're talking about. And often when there are problems, it's the party that has the best knowledge, who understands the situation technically, who ends up controlling that situation. And how would you outline networking nowadays? Well, the world seems to be a very, very small place. Everyone seems to know everybody. And so the world of trading and shipping is even more the case. And so it's very, very important to make sure that you use the tools that are available to you to make sure that you network correctly. So first of all, we have tools like Facebook and LinkedIn to keep in contact with ex-colleagues and friends. And we also have things like Yahoo and Skype. If we take an example, about 15 years ago when I started working in the industry, if I wanted to ask a question to a counterparty in West Africa, I would send a message and I would get an answer maybe a day later if I was lucky. Nowadays, I send them a message on Yahoo and they're pressing me for my comments within the couple of seconds. And so it's very important to use these opportunities that are out there. If we take Outlook, for example, in my Outlook contacts, I have all, over 5,000 contacts. For each one, I have the mobile phone number, I have their email address, and I have a note saying when I met them and how I met them. And so it's very, very important to use these because they're available on my desktop, on my laptop, on my phone, and on my tablet, and online. There are also many opportunities for networking. At the moment, we have IP Week, the International Petroleum Week in London. A lot of people are there meeting people in order to have better relationships with them. And there are other networking opportunities that we have in Geneva in particular. And so it's important just to use those opportunities and make sure that you make networking work for yourself. And how can networking and technical knowledge be combined or balanced together? Well, if you look from both sides, first of all, as far as the technical knowledge is concerned, it's impossible to know everything. We work with such complex subjects that it's simply not, not feasible. On the other side, if you know an awful lot of people but you don't know anything, then people start getting very frustrated with dealing with you. So it's important to find a balance between knowing the right people and having the right technical knowledge. So effectively, either knowing the answer to something or knowing someone who does know the answer and making sure that they want to give the answer when you need it. And how does all of this apply to Geneva? Well, as anyone who lives in Geneva knows, it's all about who you know. Whether you're talking about trying to get an apartment, whether you're trying to get a new job, it's important to know the right people. So if you take Geneva and the world of commodity trading and shipping, you put them together, this effect is simply doubled. Now, in Geneva, we've had a number of informal schools over the number last, last few years. And so it started off with companies like Andre and Tradigrain, and then moved on to companies like Cargill and Total, and more recently, companies like Adax and Latasco, in which a large number of people in Geneva seem to have worked. And over the years, because in trading people move around companies quite often, we've had people moving, leaving these companies, moving to other companies, traders leaving, starting up new companies. And so we've resulted in a web of companies in Geneva where effectively everybody knows everybody. And finally, what does this all mean and what message do you want our viewers to take from this? Well, it effectively boils down to one simple rule, be nice to people. It's very important not to abuse the, posi uh, the position that you're in. Yeah. It's very important whenever you can help anyone, make sure that you do help them. But if you're nice to people, then they will help you when you need it and you will be able to get on and do well. Okay, Richard, thank you for that and thank you for joining us in the studio today. Thank you. And that's all we have time for for now, but do check back later for further updates and for further interviews from the TV team. Bye for now.